Hello everybody, welcome to Monday, a fabulous Monday, I hope for you. It is my mum's birthday today. Can we, can you join me in saying happy birthday, Jackie? Happy birthday, Jackie. Um, she, my parents live in Adelaide, so we have not seen them. Uh, so I hope she has a very, very fantastic day. We're a little bit late. We've been chatting with her this morning, uh, catching up on all things South Australia compared to Victoria and all of that kind of thing. So what I really wanted to talk to you about, good morning, let me know that you're on and that you can hear me, please and thank you. What I wanted to talk with you about is some stuff that came up on Friday while I was chatting with my very, very fabulous, badass clients about their marketing, about what they're focusing on, about what they're doing. And one of the really, really big things that came up for all of them is this kind of feeling like they're uh, a little bit undisciplined, right? So they've been, some of them have been finding it hard to create content. Some of them have been finding it hard to find the motivation to go on. Some of them have been finding it really hard to work out how much do we talk about the coronavirus and, and, the, and the pandemic and how much do we talk about our normal business as usual stuff. And I think one of the things that I shared with you on Friday is if you if you think about it, like we've got this really, really great opportunity to build our personal brand. We've got a really great opportunity and a really great freaking platform for you to be able to share your knowledge, your intellectual property, share your advice, your hints, your tips, and all of that kind of thing. So, you know, you'd be mad to not get out there and do that. I think there's also this point, though, where we've got to be respectful about what it is that's going on. And what I mean by that is... Not, it's not about being respectful and saying, oh, you know, I'm not going to talk about this or whatever. I think it's important to let people know that, you know, in, in times like these, in uncertain times, in times of crisis, in this unprecedented time, you know, the whatever it is that you're going on about, you need to acknowledge the situation, right? So it's like with the fires, I was really struggling uh, with with how to you know show up again, trying to be respectful and mindful of the people who were in you know a really shit position. Then we also had um, you know we had Hannah Clark and her children die earlier on this year, and it's like the whole nation is aware of it. I think as leaders, we can't not acknowledge that stuff. And for me, given my history, I couldn't not say something about it. You know, something had to be said, but I didn't make all of my content about it. Right, So if you're looking at a 70-30 split, that will be helpful for you. I guess the other thing, though, that comes up for a lot of people is like, well, you know what, I, I, you're now working from home. You've got the, you might have the children home. Maybe your partner's also working from home. Unless you're in a like allied health or emergency response or something like that, maybe you're also still at work. Most people, uh, and, and I'm in, I was included in this, when I first started working from home, I forgot how fucking hard it was to maintain any level of focus. I remember, you know, days would go past. I'm like, what have I actually done? Like I was doing stuff. I, I was doing things, but I would get distracted really easily. I would get distracted by the children or I'd get distracted by the dishes or I'd get distracted by the dog or, you know, whatever it was that, that I was being distracted by, I allowed myself to get distracted. And so the thing that I really, that, that I had to build the muscle around is my daily discipline. And this is the thing that I really wanted to hammer home to you guys today, because I think this is something that you all really need to hear. When it comes to getting your marketing done, you need to sit your ass down in your chair and do the things that need to be done. You need to, maybe it's about doing your blog. Maybe it's about doing your live stream. Good morning, Maxine. If, if you guys are commenting, I can't see it. I don't know what's happening. So please keep the comments flowing and I'll make sure I have a look at them as soon as we jump off or at least comment and let me know. Maybe there's nobody commenting. Are you not talking to me today? This is weird. It's very, very weird. The thing is though, is that if you are holding back from saying what you need to say or if you're getting in your head about, oh, I don't know what to say, then write about that. Get out there and let your people know, hey, you guys, you know, I just, I'm not quite sure what it is that you need to hear today. And usually what happens is something will come out of you while you're typing, while you're talking or, um, well, typing or talking, 
and, and something will come out, little golden nuggets will come out that your audience really need to hear. But this is where you need to build the daily discipline. This is where you earn your stripes. This is where resilience is built. This is where the, 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 the foundations of your whole entire brand get built. It's, in, it's when you are digging in and you're just like, right, I'm going to sit my ass down and I'm going to do the things that need to be done. So the things that need to be done are you talking to your audience. The things that need to be done, you've still got to double check like what your clients are doing. So you check in on all of that. You want to solve problems. You've got to do, if you're still selling, you've got your sales actions and your sales activities that you need to do. Maybe it's about sitting your butt down and learning how to build that freaking website. Maybe it's about sitting your ass down and working out how to build an app. Maybe it's sitting your ass down and working through that course that you bought that you haven't worked your way through yet, right? The thing that we all do, particularly when you land in the space of working from home, is that it's really easy to procrastinate, or it's a lot easier to procrastinate. Um, it's a lot easier to get distracted. So something that I do, and I, and I champion my children to help me with this, I'll get them to put the timer on for 90 minutes for me, and I'll say, right, after the 90 minutes has gone off, hey, Catherine, once the 90 minutes has gone off, come in and get me and we'll come out and do something. And then I'll come back and I allow myself half an hour to hang out with them, play, do whatever, play a game, make something, you know, I don't know, whatever it happens to be, be procrastination-y person, you know, make a coffee, do whatever it is that needs to be done. And then I come back and I sit my ass down and I do the things that need to be done. And then do, and then go again. Now, if you find a 90 minute block is just too much, do an hour and then do 15 minutes or half an hour. Most people have the ability to be able to focus for a period of, for a shorter period of time than a longer period of time, right? You might be a, a bit of a freak of nature where you can sit and just study and absorb and do whatever it is for like eight hours straight. Take my hat off to you. I can't do that. I need to work in little in, in stages and in increments and I find that I'm way more productive, I'm way more focused and I achieve way more results because I'm just doing the things that need to be done. So some things that you need to build your daily disciplines around. You've got to track your money daily, right? You've got to make sure that you're checking in with your clients daily. You've got to be messaging daily and that means you've got to show up, whether it's a written blog, whether it's a podcast, whether it's reaching out to people, Whatever it is, you've got to be messaging daily. If you're still selling or if you want to start selling and if that feels aligned and feels right for you, then you've got to do your sales activities every day. The thing that the, I was reading a post and I was like, yes, that's exactly it. If you feel like people are going to slam you for still going out there offering and making sales and things like that, then you're already sitting in a victim mindset and we don't want to sit there right? We don't want to let anybody else control what it is that you're doing in terms of your marketing and your selling, okay? So here's the thing that I want you to consider. Your job and your daily discipline is to show up and let people know how they could choose to work with you if they choose to do that. Don't ever presume to make the choice for them, right? They are, every single human out there is smart enough, capable enough, intuitive enough, um, you know, whatever enough it is that they can make a choice to either buy from you or not buy from you. Your job is to let them know how they can do that, should they choose to do that. And then we let them go, you know what, you can make whatever choice and decision it is that you want to make. I, I believe in you. And if they turn around and say, oh, wow, you shouldn't be selling to me at the moment, like then that's, that's their shit. That's not on you. Okay. If, you, if your magic is still needed, if your service is still needed, if your consulting is still needed, if your level of mastery is still needed, if your brand of motivation and inspiration is, is needed, and if you're choosing, which it is, by the way, and if you're choosing to still show up on a daily basis, then you've just got to let the people make their own choices and their own decisions. Right? Your job is to show up in full integrity, in, in full flow, and just do that and let them choose what it, whatever it is that they want to do. 
The thing that you've got to come back to though is going, all right, well, what is it that I need to get done today? And messaging and selling are two key points in all of that. Journaling should be another thing in your list of things that you must do on a daily basis. Not only does it help your mindset, it helps with your manifestation, it helps with everything, it helps with clarity and, and all of that kind of thing. The other thing that you need to have a look at, if I was telling you what to do, right? If I'm, if I'm going to tell you what to do, I think we know each other well enough that I'm, I like to be very bossy <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm really, quite, I will listen and I will love you and I will champion you and I will cheer, I will be your biggest cheerleader. But there's also the things that I'm like, you need to do this. I don't want to hear your excuses. I don't want to hear the reasons why. Get out and do it. And if you're not willing to get out and do it, then, you know, then you won't. Don't complain to me when you don't get what you want, right? So the things that you need to have a look at are still come back to whatever it is. And it's a great time right now. We're at the end of the first quarter. Take the pandemic out of it. We're at the end of the first quarter of 2020. Thank fuck. Just quietly. Right. So we've got the 1st of April rolling in. Now is the time to get your next 90 day plan sorted. What are you going to do over these next 90 days? What are you going to create? What are you going to sell? What are you going to write? What are you going to do? Who are you going to reach? Do you have to go and like we were talking before? Hey, Carol, do you have to go and learn how to build websites? Do you want to go and learn how to do Facebook ads? Do you need to go do something on how to use Canva? Do you need to learn how to build a funnel? Do you need to learn how to be more focused and more resilient? Whatever it is, right? What are you going to do in these next 90 days? Now is the time where people are going to rise like cream to the top or they're going to sink like a stone to the bottom of the pond. I want you guys to rise. I don't want you to sink, right? But the re the way that you are going to rise up to the top is not by sitting there going like, oh shit, I can't do anything because that's whole shit. You know you can, okay? So bossy Nicola, what are you doing for the next 90 days? And then what are you doing for the next month? You have got, I know that the world can tip on its axis. So what can you count on in this next 30 days? Hi, Neri. What can you count on in these next 90 days and this, this next month and this next week and today? Let me give you a tip. Go look in the mirror and that gorgeous face that is reflecting right back at you, that is the only thing that you can count on in these next 30 days and in these next 90 days. It's you and the way that you show up and the things that you do. That is all you can control. You cannot control whatever your prime minister or your president or a, like the, the governor of your state or whatever it is, you cannot control what they do. You can't control what the neighbors do. You can only control what you do. So what are you going to do over these next 30 days? And then break that down into what you're doing over the course of this next week. What like specifically, what are you doing? And then give yourself a daily task list where you're like, right, I'm just going to go and punch these out. And you need to sit your ass down and keep going until those things are done. Why? Because your vision, achieving your vision is more important than the self-talk that's telling you that you shouldn't. The legacy that you want to leave has got to be more important than you getting caught up in the, where well, someone's told me I shouldn't be selling. Where well, someone's told me this. No, fuck that shit, right? Do the thing that you need to do. Sit your ass down and don't move out of that chair unless you're doing it in like the, the breaks, but you don't stop doing the things that you need to do until the things are done, okay? So that is my little fiery, blah, get out there and go do your things for today. Now I have, um, you can't control what your four-year-old does. Exactly, Catherine. But you know what? You might be able to buy yourself half an hour of focus time. Give them 15 minutes, half an hour of focus time. I don't know. It's been a while since I've had a four-year-old, but I did start my business going back. We are, so it was 10 years ago. My son was two. So he was home for the majority of the time when I started growing this business. So I, I, I get that it's tough. It is tough. But, you know, there's always tough things going on and there's always ways of finding pockets of time so that you can do the things that you, that you, that you say that you really want to do. It might look a little bit different and the way that you work your routine, your daily routine might look different to mine. My children are now nearly 12, nearly 14 and 18. So, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty self-sufficient. So I can say, you know, go away, go sort yourselves out and that's fine. 
but I didn't have that luxury. We had no money. I had um, very little support. You know, I was I was growing this business ten years ago in a in a two meter by one meter little tiny little office and and on the kitchen table, juggling having my two year old home. My four year old was home sometimes, and my daughter had just started. My oldest daughter had just started school. So you know, I, I get it. I get that it's hard. I get that it's tough. But what's more important? We spend quality time with them and then gift yourself with quality time on your business. Gift yourself quality time with the kids and then gift yourself quality time with the business. Your, your personal brand will, um, will grow and flourish. Your visibility will grow and flourish. But you've got to sit your backside down and do the things that you, that you, that you can do. That's it. So we are, I did release, uh, I think I put a post up yesterday. We've got the 30-day the challenge starting on the 6th of April, which is Monday, which is you, me, and a group of badasses every day at 6 a.m. working out. So it's a daily discipline, right? And daylight savings will have changed. So hopefully, hopefully it'll be a little bit lighter in the morning for, for a period of time. What are you working on? What questions have you got? What do you need to do? The, the best type of accountability that I could possibly give you and it's six o'clock in the morning, so it's probably before all your all your family's up. It'll be before everybody else is up, so you can actually sit down, knuckle down, and go right. What is it that I actually need to do? So you've got your daily plan sorted. You know, have all of your questions answered, and then the next day we'll say, all right, how did you go with the things that you said that you were going to do? And you will tell me, oh, I got them all done. I'm such a badass. And I'll be like, yeah, you are. Good morning, Tani. Really great to see you. Not see you, see you, but really good to see you. So I trust that that's helpful. Reverse engineer this next three months. I know it's a shitty time, but there are always shitty times. And the more we can roll with the punches and the more you can build up this discipline, the better off you're going to be in the, in the foreseeable future. So if you want to jump in on the 30 day challenge, I will post the links below. It's $4.97 for the whole entire month. That is you and me on a call every single day, working on what you're gonna do, how you're gonna do it, making sure you've got the, the questions answered so you can just go ahead and execute. So we've got that starting Monday. Uh, we've also got the all access pass rolling at the moment. So if you're like, mm, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not that, I don't wanna do that, Nicola. You can, excuse me, if there's something you wanna learn over this next month, because you will have done your 90 day plan and you know what then you need to focus on for this first month of the next 90 days. If there's stuff that you need to learn, I've got 21 courses, 22 courses or something like that, that you can get access to for 99 bucks a month. It's insane. Uh, so jump on that. I, if, if <laughs> My personal opinion is like, if you're not in that, you are crazy. Uh, it, it, if anything that you need about starting an online business, marketing it, growing it, blogging, podcasting, running webinars, everything that you could possibly need is in there. There's no contracts. You can come and go as, long, as much as you like. So that's that. Um, the 30 day challenge starts Monday. I think that's all I needed to let you know. But the thing that I want to leave you with, if you do nothing else with everything that I've already said to you, here are the things, here are the key takeaways for you. Number one, work out what you're going to focus on over the next 90 days and break that down into the next month's focus, so the next four weeks. Number two, have the daily discipline of working through and implementing and executing the exact things that you have committed to and you sit your ass down in that chair until it's all done. The third thing that you need to be doing is making sure that you are messaging every day in the form of blogs, live streams, text posts, photos, all of that kind of thing. The fourth thing, if you have chosen to continue to sell or you want to start selling, sell your sweet, sweet ass off, my friend, and, and just keep showing up, let people know how they can get the help from you, and allow them the decision of whether they're going to buy or whether they're not. They are more than capable of keeping that credit card tucked away in their purse or ripping it out and, you know, saying, shut up and take my money. Okay. So they're the, they're the things that you need to focus on. All right. So get out there, go help some people, have a whole ton of fun doing it. Get out there, go kick some freaking ass. I can't wait to hear how you go. And I will 
Talk to you soon. And remember, the world is ready for your brand of awesomeness. I love you. I'll talk to you later.